Today I will show you how you can achieve this famous orange and teal look on your photos in a matter of few seconds, both in Photoshop and Lightroom. So let's start. Hey guys, it's me again, it's Nemanja, and welcome to another fun episode. Before we dive straight into Photoshop and Lightroom, let me tell you one important thing. Remember that not all photos are suitable for orange and teal look. Some photos will benefit from that look, but some photos will be even worse applying that look on them than without that look. So you need carefully to choose your images. And probably you're asking now, how will you know which photos are good and which photos are bad for that look. Well, based on your experience. So practice, experiment, have fun, apply this look on ton of images and eventually you will get experience enough to just look at the image and know if this image is good or bad for that kind of look. Right guys, without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Right guys, we're here in Photoshop and this technique will require you to have Photoshop CC and above because you will need a camera row filter for this. So first thing that you need to do is to go to filter, camera row and then go into a tab that you probably never went in is this one calibration tab. So you need to recalibrate how uh, the Photoshop will show the color. So only thing, I will not go into details what all those sliders are doing to your images. Just do this. Poof, orange, poof, teal. How easy is that guys? In a matter of two seconds, you have orange and teal look. Before you have variation of colors on the image, you see reds, uh, yellows, uh, some magenta purplish here, bright yellow, dark, uh, bright red, dark red, etc. But with this look, you make this image a little bit more interesting and maybe more pleasing to the eye. So this is really, really nice and really fast effect to do. You just need to press OK and you have it. You have this effect on the image and you're done. You can just turn off your computer and go do some other things. You master this for today. Right, guys, this was so easy that literally took a few seconds. Now let me show you exactly the same thing in Lightroom and we are done with this tutorial. So let's do it. Right, guys, here in Lightroom, you just need to go all the way down to calibration, to camera calibration menu and do exactly the same. Red hue, move all the way to the right, you will get some orangey colors and blue all the way to the left and you have this orange and teal look. So before and after, before and after, in a matter of two seconds guys, poof, it's easy like that. Of course, let's go back into Photoshop, of course you can go and uh, play with some other things, set some contrast, etc. For example, if you have image like this, you can go in camera row and go here, change the orange and teal. And guys, you can play with the saturation sliders too. So you can add a saturation of those bluish tones or reduce it, do variation of that look however you want. You can even change the yellows. Now I'll show you that, but it is not uh, necessary, but you can do that by changing, sorry, the greens, you can change the greens. By changing the greens, you will add more yellows or more reddish tone into your orange and teal look. It's the same with saturation, you can just reduce the saturation of overall tones here. So that's something that you need to know if you want to play even further with this. Okay, then you can go and add some contrast, maybe dehaze it, etc., to get really interesting image. And this is before and this is after. But what if you have image like this that don't have anything bluish in it to turn into that uh, teal look? Let me show you that really quickly. So you need to go again to camera row filter and what you need to do exactly the same orange and teal, but there is nothing bluish to turn it into a teal. Now you can fake it. You can fake it a little bit, but don't do that all the time. You can now go to split toning and just choose a teal color and add a little bit to this. So now if you see before and after, we have that kind before and after teal kind of look. You can add this teal kind of look into highlights too. So be careful with that because the point of orange and teal look is shifting the colors red colors to orange and blue colors towards the teal colors. That's the point of orange and teal look. It's not the point to just uh, take uh, two colors like orange and teal and make your shadows orange or teal and the highlights opposite teal or orange. That's not the point of orange and teal look. That's a split toning. It's a good technique, but it's called the split toning. You will have something completely different. 
All right, guys, let me show you one more example in Lightroom and we are done for today. So, for example, we have this image and just go all the way down to camera calibration. Puff, orange, puff, teal, and that's it. You can go and play with maybe some uh, clarity, just add a little bit, a little bit of vibrance, maybe open the shadows a touch like this, add a contrast. And guys, this is before and this is after. So you have real orange and teal look before and after. Right, guys, and that's it for today. It was so fast and so easy and straightforward. I hope that you learned something new today. And if you have any questions regarding to this technique, just let me know down there in the comments. And let me know down there in the comments, do you prefer this origin to look or you're not a fan of that? I'm really curious about that. And if you like this tutorial, if you find it uh, helpful, press that like button, share it with your friends and remember to subscribe. Ring that bell notification icon if you want to be notified about all the future tutorials. Right, guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next fun episode. Bye-bye.